Buddha is depicted differently throughout the world. Therefore, in this video, we will be looking at the earliest sources of Buddha's depiction. Now, before I begin, let's make this clear. When I say the Buddha or just Buddha, I of course mean Siddhartha Gautama. Most people depict Buddha as a fat guy, but we know that cannot be true, considering he almost starved himself. And it is also known that it is a misidentification because that man is Budai, a Chinese monk and not the Buddha. So let's therefore take a trip back to around 2000 years where the Buddha lived. Buddha was born in an ancient Indian kingdom somewhere around 500 to 480 BC. And the earliest sources we have about Buddha's depiction all comes from Ashoka the Great's time, which are about 200 years after his death. Now a question that comes to my mind is, why didn't the earliest Buddhists depict him? Which of course has an easy answer. Just like every other religion, Buddhism also went through an, an iconic period, which means that the earliest Buddhists represented him with different objects, such as an empty throne, a Bodhi tree, a therma wheel, a footprint, or a horse without a rider. The earliest Buddha statues discovered are the Gandhara Buddhist statues, built by the Bactrian Greek 300 years after his death. And if we take a closer look at one of these sculptures, we see Buddha having a bindi between his eyebrows and long earlobes, which of course makes sense considering he was a prince and therefore had to wear gold earrings, which he later gave up with his kingdom. Now looking at these statues, we see the Greek influence, and therefore this style is also known as Indo-Greek or Gandhara art. And the Greek influence can be seen in the so-called Greek nose that this Buddha had. 